Hello everyone, this is the question from GATE 2019 Mechanical Engineering Site 1. This is question number 9. A firm hires employees at 5 different skill levels P, Q, R, S and T. The shares of employment at these skill levels of total employment in 2010 is given in the pie chart as shown here. There were a total of 600 employees in 2010 and the total employment increased by 15% from 2010 to 2016. The total employment at skill levels P, Q and R remained unchanged during this period. If the employment at the skill level S increased by 40% from 2010 to 2016, how many employees were there at the skill level T in 2016? This figure shows the employment shares at each skill level in 2010. To solve this question, let us first find out how many number of people were employed at each skill level in 2010. In 2010, total number of employees In the form was 600. At skill level P, 20% of total employees were employed. That will be equal to 20 by 100 times 600 equals to 120 employees. So at skill level P, 120 employees were employed in 2010. Similarly, at skill level Q, 25% of total employees were employed. If we count them, then that will turn out to be 150 employees. Similarly, at skill level R, again 25% of total employees were employed, and therefore, at skill level R also 150 employees were employed. At skill level S, also 25% of total employees were employed, and therefore, by counting, we can find out that 150 employees were employed at skill level S in 2010. And at skill level T, the employment was 5% of total that will be equal to 30 employees. We can check by totaling these numbers that all of them add up to 600. Now, in 2016, from the question, we know that the total employment at levels P Q and R remains unchanged. Therefore, in 2016, at level P, Q and R, respectively, 120, 150 and 150 employees were employed already. So, the increment in the employment or total employment was 15% of 600. So, that will be equal to 
15 by 100 times 600 that would be the 15 percent of 600 and this turns out to be equal to 90. so in 2016 total number of employees will be 600 plus this 90 so that would be equal to 69c now it is also given that the employment share of s is increased by 40 percent from 2010 that means that in 2010 150 employees were there in 2016 there were increase in the number of employees in skill level s and that increment was of 40 percent from the initial number that was 150 so increment in s was 40% of 150 which is equal to 60 so out of this new added, newly added 90 employees 60 of them were employed at skill level s in the other skill levels p q and r no new employees were employed as the employment at this level remained unchanged from 2010 so out of the newly added 90 employees or newly given 90 employments 60 were given in at skill level s so remaining 30 were given at skill level t so increment in skill level t was of 30 initially in 2010 at skill level t 30 employees were there now by 2016 there were 30 more added to skill level t therefore the total number of employees at skill level t will be 30 plus additional 30 making them 60 so the correct answer for this question would be c 60